special feature. The history of fine arts in Kenya was recognized after a Ugandan, Donovan Gateja, displayed his artwork at the African Heritage Pan African Gallery from the 1970s. Since then, Kenya has emerged with numerous number of artists, amongst them Timothy Okonji, who nurtures the young talents in art other than eking out a living. Here is Ken Kimani with more. While well, some of us see art as a source of income, Kenyan fine artist Timothy Okonji says it is the best platform to mentor and inspire others How through art. He was lucky to have gone and studied fine art from primary school up to tertiary level. So, I was able to primary school. I was a unit in art and craft. So, I was able to do it. I was able to do it. Kanzanza kufanya ma drawings za cartoons zile zikuwa za gazeti za kitambo ka babu super striker sizo then after clearing KCP class 8 nika join high school shule nilikuwa ilikuwa na art so nika choose hiyo course ya art jo nilikuwa na passion pia kafanya art for 4 years after completing the 4 years nika join college ya art jo nilikuwa nataka kufanya art Without a pay, trim of the trains Vanessa Candini and three others how to draw and make money out of the talent. As they explained to us that a portrait, while fully framed, goes for 3,000 Kenya shillings, they believe that art does pay well and people should take art as a business. Trimothy has once sold an artwork of 10,000 Kenya shillings. I started drawing late last year. That's when I, did, I, know, I noted that I can actually do art and Come December, around Christmas period, I got to meet Timothy, and he was able to train me in different areas. However, in his school, Timothy has faced challenges, including lack of space, materials to train his pupils, where some of them cost up to 1,200 Kenya shillings. Clients not paying the work done for them is a major challenge in the art industry. Before we established for your art industry, we go through a lot. So we have to discuss it with the amount of people. We have to discuss it with the amount of people. We have to a huge work to do the art. We have to pay a little bit of money. Art is very expensive. That's why we have to pay art pieces. Because we have to pay for the charges and the charges. Time, money, and also space. We have to pay for the amount of money. Time, and also space and sometimes materials to use. But those are the most challenges. As many artists will draw celebrities, Timothy is a special case, and out of curiosity, we ask the most famous people he has ever drawn. Me personally, I'm a big person. Maybe mostly my clients will get a job, but I decide to let go of Most of the time, I'm a big person, I'm a big person, I'm a big person, I'm a you just come into my thoughts. So, me as in now, me work na job the client will me later. Ah, there is a to me let me to Cuba min chay chora to maybe my grandma. Some of the exhibition he has attended include Kenya Art Fair and Go Down Center held at the Sarich Center. Timothy advises the artist that it's not about exhibition always, but some time to learn about art and network with fellow competitors. See, lazima ni participate, but mi wanda pia zingine kuwa to audience. Okay. Ni upate at least pia wane vitu kato wanafanya, ni upio kwa encourage pia. Si lazima uende, si lazima uku participate, ni uku involved kwa yu event. Okay. Ni zenda tu kama audience pia, just to view, ni upate pia challenge. Art can be used to communicate to people, from the dressing, the songs, the dance, and even drawings used at the road signs to communicate to drivers. Art is a role role in the society. in the society. Art is a form of communication. Other than stories, some poems, some of you can use art to communicate to the public. Art is an important tool in the society, and as they say, don't leave this world with your art still inside your heart. And as I advise anyone, when you are doing a passion, you can do it. I'm going to 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 do it. I
na art inaweza kufanya vitu mingi sana yeah. so kama uko na hiyo passion ya kuchora build up na endelea ku to make up kwa hiyo talent yake the art of giving is not only limited to material things Timothy Okonji is one of the Kenyan artists who uses his skills and arts to mentor and inspire other artists, hoping they will do the same in the near future. Ken Kimani, KUTV.